Let's do a quick meanwhile on Snapchat. And this one is nothing like any other meanwhile on Snapchat. You know how usually my meanwhile on Snapchat videos are like a dump truck full of information, just taking a dump all over you. More information than you know what to do with. Well, that's not happening this time. Have you heard of Villain Con? No, probably not. They like to keep these things on a need to know basis. And if you're anything like my Snapchat audience, the powers that be decided you don't need to know. At least the embargo has been lifted. Finally, I can show you the merch. But as you'll find out throughout these videos, you're going to end with more questions than I'm going to give you answers because most of the stuff I've had to redact because drunk Chris said way more than he should have. If you're saying, what on earth is a meanwhile on Snapchat? Then stop interrupting me. Just listen, you'll catch on, okay? Something I noticed while I was in the shop is there was no fruit juice and no fruit. Is there a national fruit shortage that I'm unaware of? Because I don't watch the news, so I don't know these things. You're going to say to me, what's with all the cool hoodies and things that you wear? And good point, now that we're getting close to VillainCon 21, which is in two days or something, I'm also getting excited. And they are sending me my official licensed Villain Con 21 hoodie. I'm so excited, so excited about that. People, people wonder at Villain Con, is there some sort of assistant, you know, like sidekick tryout type section? And it's a bit of a double-edged sword for me because yes, true, there is a villain sidekick section and you're supposed to be putting forward names of people that you think would be good at that. But what happened in Prague, oh, I don't, want, I don't even want to talk about it. They, let's just say, on the council, don't believe in my methods of choosing sidekicks. So maybe any name that I put forward is a bad idea. You're better off going on to Hammerhead. He's actually got a good reputation in this. My nemesis. I'm not saying I'm against disguises as a general concept, but... <sighs> Sons of bitches. That usually works. <sighs> okay, so disguises as a thing is cool to me, but one of the things they do at VillainCon, right, because it's coming up tomorrow, is <laughs> they don't ask your name, they ask your disguise name. That's how they put it on the form that you fill in for the attendance. And then <sighs> I'm filling it in, and of course, it's a digital thing, so it's personalized for every person that they're sending it. They got some sort of web genius that does that. It's not me, I swear, that's not how I got in there. But they give you a special message. So you know yesterday when I said my villain con hoodie was arriving and I'm so excited and I showed you, well, it turns out um, there's an embargo and you're not supposed to say to public these kinds of things. And turns out they do watch my videos because on my personal message it said, and this disguise name is not to be said to the public. So I'm not allowed telling you what my disguise name is. Considering I do my Iceman meditations outside and naked, but they're called Iceman meditations, it gives it away for me. But I'm still not allowed telling you. Here's the thing, right? So it's um, done digitally this year over Skype or Zoom, or whatever they do these things. And now everything's fine. The lectures are going to be cool. The sign-ups are going to be easier because everyone's online. But still, I'm going to miss, and this is, this is going to sound weird to you, I'm going to miss the shark tank. So every year they do like a introduction thing where they have this giant shark tank. And I, I wouldn't say that I'm pro sacrificing a human for the sharks that's one part that i could take or leave but you know the scale of things the, the way it's like a giant giant thing that's encircling everyone the sharks are going around it's an event you know what i mean it's just not going to feel the same digitally do you remember learning in science class about metallic properties of strength no me neither the only thing I remember learning in high school science was that I cannot whisper. I remember sitting at the back of the class with my friend Dave and seeing the teacher at the front of the class and trying to whisper to him, if you look closely, you can see the shape of Mrs. Pringle's nipples from here. And turns out 
I not only said this to Dave, who was next to me, also the teacher in the front heard me, which was awkward. Imagine my surprise coming into VillainCon 21 and hearing the overarching theme is hard and strong because heaven knows I need help with villainous seduction techniques. But no, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the metallic properties of strength and how to use that in a villainous way. Two sides of the same coin, hard and strong, being equal but opposite. And how ridiculous, right? Hammerhead is doing a video on the metallic properties of strength because he is some sort of special case because he's a speaker this year. I didn't even sign up because I didn't really want to go through the effort. But now I feel like mine and his rivalry is going to be a problem because he's going to get ahead of me with notorious things being a speaker. So I didn't think that through. I think I was just lazy this year. That's the problem, right? I actually can't tell you anything about VillainCon. I can't even show you the hoodie, which I have to take off to make this video for you and put on my normal hoodie. How ridiculous. How even strength ridiculous. This video is going to be nothing. I'm not allowed giving away anything. I'm literally not even allowed showing you what's on my screen right now, which is the plan for the Little God 31. And it's, woo, it's good, it's good, it's good. But again, that's, I'm not allowed telling you. Maybe I shouldn't have made this video to begin with. Oh well. VillainCon 21 in the books and even though I'm still not allowed showing you the actual VillainCon merchandise, I'm apparently allowed showing you the official new product placement of VillainCon and although I'm trying not to act smug but that's a K, not an H. Let's get into it but first a bit of celebration. Whoop. If you watched yesterday you know that the theme of VillainCon 21 is hard and strong and so even though i was not prepared to speak i still came up with a title when i was chosen at the end of the harder you are <laughs> the easier the crack and obviously the <laughs> i wish there was more i could tell you i really do and i feel like this whole video series that i've done on the whole villain con 21 thing has been a waste because i am not allowed telling you anything however when i do the youtube thing so in other words if you're watching this on youtube i'm going to be allowed to do the villain con merchandise plug so i might be wearing my villain con hoodie just wait for that if you're on snapchat which is the original source of this just wear, just wearing my normal let me be frank hoodie. You can get a let me be frank if you want, but that's not villain con. Whatever past me, villain con merch is where it's at. Nobody wants to let me be frank. Thanks for watching. I hope you've got some idea of what villain con is, even though you probably weren't invited. And if you're a hammerhead just watching over my stuff, screw you, hammerhead, we're still enemies. This is now an end screen. And it's my duty, because you've watched the entire video, to give you something to do, like subscribe down below or watch more videos up above, even if it is just in this pre-recorded video. Good to see you.